Hello everyone. Let's talk about area of composite figures. This is for Math 6, Quarter 3, Week 6, Module. Right, let's have a review first. From your previous lessons, you have learned that area is the number of square units needed to cover the surface of a plane figure. Some formula in finding the area of the different figures are the following. So we have the area of a rectangle that is length times width or A is just equal to L times width or LW. Next is area of a parallelogram that is base times height or area is equal to base times height. Now remember if you're going to put uh, the letters together, it means multiplication. So, para ka lang mag-multiply niya ng length times width, base times height. And then, we have area of, the of a square that is side times side. So, uh, in symbol, that is A is equal to S squared. And then, we have the area of a triangle. It's one half times uh, time one half times the quantity base times height. Or just A is equal to one half base times height. And then, area of a circle is uh, pi r squared. In symbol, it's this one, pi equals pi r squared, where pi is equal to 3.14, right? In this example here, we have a rectangle, and the, me the measurements is 10 cm. It's the length, and then the width is 5 cm. So, to get the area... Uh, you just need to multiply length and the width, right? So, substituting, that would be uh, 10 cm, that is the length, times 5 cm, which is the width. And uh, once you multiply it, you'll get 50 cm squared. Kaya lang, kung titignan nyo, okay, since sinabi doon that area is the number of squares, Number of squares lang in a flat surface, di ba? Eh, kung bibilangin mo yan, okay, you'd realize na kaya pala siya length times width kasi if you're going to, to count the number of squares here on top, that is 10. You have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, 10 dito. So, ilang 10 ba yan? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, limang tigsa sampu na 10. Kaya, para ka lang nag-multiply nga ng 10 times 5. Kaya, ang shortcut niya is length times width. Kasi, multiply mo lang yung length at saka yung width. Pero, if ever it is written like this or drawn like this, kahit nga bilangin mo lang yung squares, ukuha mo na yung sagot. Okay? Pero it only happens kung merong drawing ha. If ever walang drawing, you can do the drawing or you can just multiply the length and the width para mabilis. Okay? Now, this one here is okay, a square with 10 cm on one side. So, 10 cm dito, ay 10 cm din dito. So, since this is a square, this is just A is equal to S squared and substituting the side that is 10 squared. So, we have here 100 cm squared. And again, pwede mo bilangin yan ang squares. Kasi nga, number of squares lang. If you're going to get the, the area, you just need to count the number of squares. We have here the triangle. Okay, in a triangle, we have the base is 9 cm and the height is 10 cm. And using the formula you have here, area is equals to 1 half base times the height. So, 1 half the base which is 9 and the height which is 10 cm so you have there 1 half of 90 cm squared and um, final answer is 45 cm squared now um, pwede ba yung ginawa natin pagbibilang ng squares yes kasi ang rectangle ay ano ang triangle ay kalahati ng isang rectangle so since kalahati kuhanin mo muna ang area ng rectangle so ito yung rectangle so it's 10 and 9 diba so 10 and 9 so that is 90 divided by 2 dahil ang triangle lang ang kuhanin natin so you have 45 so kung bibilangin mo yung squares diyan hanggang dito ayan um, i-ano mo yung uh, buuhin mo yung rectangle mabibilang mo yan as 90 and then since ang triangle ay kalahat sa 90 
so you get 45. So, ganun lang ang pagbibilang if ever na kaganito ang illustration. Okay? Bilangin mo muna yung buo and then hatiin. Kasi mahirap bilangin dito, nakahatiin eh. Tsaka hindi mo nga alam kung kalahati ba talaga. Ito maliit lang eh. Kaya hindi mo pwedeng bilangin yan. Pwede mo lang bilangin yung buo and then hatiin. Right, next. A circle. Now, in a circle, okay, uh, mahirap na kung magbilang tayo dito. So, first, let's use the, um, um, let's use the formula. But given here is the 5cm radius, and the formula is pi r squared. So, substituting, we have uh, pi is equal to 3.14, and the radius is 5cm, so that is 5cm squared. So, we got here 3.14 times 25 kasi 5 times 5 is 25, and then cm squared. So, finally, we have 78.5 cm squared as the answer. Now, can we check if ever our answer is uh, near, um, is, uh, can we check if our answer is um, more or less correct? Okay, uh, by checking the illustration, yes. If you're going to count here the number of squares, okay, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, pasok yung circle sa isang square with 10 sides, okay? At tama lang kasi yung diameter nito is 10. And then, yung radius is 5. So, tama lang yun. Okay? So, um, basing on the square with side 10, this would be uh, 100. Kaya lang, since hindi na gamit tong gilid, so, approximately this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5, um, square, uh, five small squares dito, diba? So, 5, 10, 15, 20. So, um, yung square mo, buong square mo is 100, supposed to be minus mo yung hindi nasama sa circle, which is more or less 20. Eh, di, dito, it's approximately 80 cm squared. So, more or less pasok siya dito sa sagot natin. So, pwede na nating ma-verify na uh, more or less we have the right answer. Okay? Kung hindi lang nagkamali ng computation, then for sure, Tama yung sagot mo. Alright. Now, let's have our lesson. See? So, we are actually to, going to talk about area of composite figures. Right? So, example one. Find the area of the shaded region. So, this is an example of a composite figure. A composite figure is made up of two or more um, geometric figures. So, dito, it's made up of a square with side 7 cm and a triangle with height 6 and then its base is 7 cm. Right, so find the area of the shaded region. Now, solution. Since this is made up of square and uh, triangle, then the total area should be, e should be equal to the area of the square plus the area of the triangle. Kaya nga, nandito yung solution natin area is equal to area of the square plus area of the triangle. And then, substitute natin yung formula for getting the area of the square. So, you have there, area is equal to side squared, di ba? Kasi square ito. And then, ito naman, it's one half base times height. Ayan. And then, substituting the side of the square is 7. 7 din dito, 7. So, this is 7 squared. And then, the base of the triangle is, kasi ito yung triangle natin, ang base is ito, and then the height is 6. Okay, so substituting, we have there, ayan na siya. So, ito po yung para sa square natin, 7 squared, and ito yung para sa triangle natin, that is 1 half, the base, which is 7, and then the height, which is 6, and then computing for 7 squared, this is 49, and this is 42, so 1 half of 42. And then this is now 49 plus 1 half of 42 is 21. So area natin is 70. And then this is cm and cm. So this is cm squared, right? The next example, we have find the area of the shaded region again. We have here um, this composite figure. But this composite figure is actually made up of one rectangle, okay? So, isang buong rectangle at ang dimension niya is 10 feet and then the width is 6 feet. And then, so, one big rectangle 
babawasan ng maliit na rectangle. Kaya, nakuha yung original na uh, composite figure niya. Okay? So, ma-minus lang tayo. So, area is equal to the area of the big rectangle minus the area of the small rectangle. And then, area of the big rectangle again is 10 by 6. Ayan. And then, yung original na small um, rectangle, ayan, it's just 4 or 4 by 3. Ayan. So, 10 times 6 and 4 times 3. So, this is now 60. 10 times 6 is 60. And then, 4 times 3 is 12. So, area natin is equal to 48. And since this is feet, answer natin for the unit is feet squared. Alright? So, hindi ito mahirap. Hindi, hindi kailangan na mag-drawing ka dito ng ganyan. Tapos ganyan. Kasi yung iba iisipin, ah, mag-drawing ako dito ma'am ng uh, isang guhit. Isang guhit. Pwede rin. Kaya lang, ang division mo ay tatlo. So, gawin mo na lang ito, buo, and then i-minus yung maliit sa loob. Para, dalawang formula lang ang kailangan mong gamitin dahil dalawang division lang ang ginawa mo. Okay. Example number, ano, for lesson 2, let's have this problem. Okay. A roller ring floor is shown below. Each end, each end is a semicircle. What is its area? If hardwood flooring costs 200 pesos per square foot, how much will the flooring cost? Alright? So, yung roller ring floor nito is made up of two semicircles. So, since there are two semicircles, then this is actually one circle. Hinate lang, di ba? Yung isang kalahate ay nandito, isang kalahate ay nandito. So, buo yung circle. So, we have two shapes lang dito. Isang circle, isang buong circle, at isang rectangle. Alright? So, solution. Okay? So, understand the problem. So, what is asked in the problem? The, the question asked is, okay, the area of the roller ring floor, and then the cost of hardwood, hardwood flooring. Again, and then what are the given facts? So, given facts are the 80 feet length ng rectangle natin dito. So, earlier sinabi ko dalawa lang ang shapes dito. Isang rectangle at then isang circle. So, 80 feet na length ng rectangle, 40 feet na width, and then ito ngayon is the radius. So, 20 feet radius, and then the 200 peso per square feet na cost for hardwood flooring. Now, alright, the next one is Plan. So, plan what should be done. Plan what should be done. Right? So, we have here. Okay. We can easily identify the rectangle and two semicircles. So, katulad na sinabi ko kanina, dalawang semicircles lang yan at isang rectangle. Thus, we need to find the area of the figures, the rectangle, and the circle. So, to solve, we have area is equal to area of the rectangle plus area of the circle. Kasi nga isang circle lang to eh. Kalahati dito, kalahati. Eh di isang circle, tiba. So, for the rectangle, we just need to multiply the length and the width. And then for the circle, that is pi r squared. Okay? So, dalawang formula ang ginamit natin dito. Formula for finding the area of a rectangle and formula for finding the area of a circle since dalawang shapes ang meron dito, rectangle at saka circle. So, substituting for the length of the rectangle that is 80 feet, diba? And then width is 40 and then for the pi is 3.14 and then the radius is 20. So, we have there 80 times 40 plus 3.14 times 20 squared. Kasi ito yung radius natin. So, square natin. So, this is now 3,200 plus this is 20 times 20 is 400. So, again, solving, we have now 3,200 plus 1,256. So, the total area is 4,456 and since the unit is feet, so this is feet squared. Kasi area lang naman. Okay? So, feet squared yan. Right? 
So flooring cost would be 446 uh, feet times 200 kasi nga 200 pesos per feet squared. Diba? Or, or square foot. Kaya, multiply natin yung 4,456 by 200. So, we now have 891,200 pesos as the total flooring cost. Alright? So, let's have some activity. Activity 1. Find the area of the following composite figure. Right. We have here a figure a, with 5 here, 5 on the side, 8, and then 6. Now, um, if we're going, uh, if you look at the figure, this is actually a trapezoid. Okay? So, kung alam mo yung formula for finding the area of a trapezoid, pwede nang isolve mo not as a composite figure. But since we are talking about composite figure, we will solve this as um, composite figure. So, Kung gagawin mo yan, okay, you can actually draw a line here, right? So, you will now have, with that line here, ma-divide mo na yung figure into two, which is a square and a triangle. So, solving this using the square and a triangle, uh, so using or solving this as a composite figure, you would have area is equal to the area of the square plus the area of the triangle. And then, Okay, area of the square is just S squared. And then for finding the area of a triangle, that's one half base times height. So substituting the sides of the square is 5. So this is 5 squared. And then the base here is 3. Kasi kung nag-draw ka na ng linya dito, so hanggang mula dito hanggang doon ay 5. E di mula dito hanggang dito ay 3 kasi H ay. Diba? So ang base natin is 3 and then the height would be 5. So, there, 5 squared plus 1 half base times height. And base is 3 and the height is 5. And then 5 times 5 is 25 and this is 1 half of 15. And then 25 plus 7.5 because this is 1 half of 15. And then combining, we have now area is equal to 32.5. And Ah, kung nalata nyo, walang unit. So, kung walang unit na nilagay, this will just be square unit. So, wala kang babanggitin na unit. Sabihin mo lang na square unit. Okay? And, in this example here, okay, um, hindi ko na sinolve, okay, ang idea lang dito is to get the rectangle, yung buong rectangle, right? So, yung dimension, dimension ng rectangle na yun is 12 and 8. So, kuhanin mo yung area ng buong rectangle and then i-minus mo yung area ng square and that's it. Right? Now, for the next, uh, for the next um, figure, you have here a rectangle and a triangle. So, again, to get the area of this, add mo yung area nito at saka ng area nito. So, the area of this is just length times width. So, that is 7.5 times 6. And then, yung area naman nito is 1 half base times height. So, that is 1 half times 6, which is the base. And then, the height is 4. Right? So, ganun lang ang pag-solve nito. So, hindi ko na sinama yung solution. This is actually part of your uh, activities in the module. Okay? So, yung number 1 lang ang sinagot ko. And then, for activity 2, sinolve ko rin yung first number. Okay, so solve the following problems. So, number 1, a figure is made up of 3 triangles. Each triangle has a base of 6 inches and a height of 4 inches. What is the combined area of the 3 triangles? Now, walang drawing dun sa module nyo. So, um, nasa sa inyo paano nyo gawin. Kaya lang, if you're going to solve for composite figures, mas maganda kung i-illustrate nyo or i-drawing nyo. Now, in this case, ang nilagay kong drawing is ganito. Kasi sabi lang naman, 3 triangles. So, nasa sa'yo kung ang isang triangle mo ay i-invert mo. Okay? Kasi, kinumbayan mo yung tatlo. ba? So, kung ganito itsura niya, okay, this triangle is equal to this triangle, equal to this triangle. Kasi, pareho lang naman yung ano niya eh. Um, dimension niya. The triangle has a base 6. So, ito ay 6. 
dito ay 6, dito ay 6. So, pareho ang basis nila, which is 6. And then, yung height is 4. So, this will be 4 here. Okay? So, 4 inches. This is 6 inches. So, what is the combined area of the three triangles? Now, since tatlo yung triangles mo, eh, di, i-multiply mo na lang yung area of a triangle. So, area of a triangle is 1 half base times height. Diba? So, tignan natin. Ayan. So, tatlong 1 half base times height. Kasi, ito yung formula for finding the area of a triangle. Now, since meron kang tatlo, eh, di, it times mo na ng tatlo. So, kaya nga siya 3, and then parenthesis, or the quantity 1 half base times height. And then, substituting, you have there 1 half. Ang base is 6, kasi yan ang sabi dito, base is 6, and then the height is 4. And then, isa-isa lang. So, multiply mo na natin itong dalawa. So, you have 3 times 1 half times 24, and then 1 half ng 24 is 12. So, you have there 3 times 12, and then 3 times 12, you have here 36, and then yung ano niya is inches. So, ang sagot mo sa unit would be inch squared. Right? Now, if ever, din rowing mo siya na tatlong tabi-tabi, pwede rin. Kaya lang yung solution mo, ganun pa rin. Multiply mo ng tatlo, yung one half base times height, dahil meron kang tatlong triangles. Right? So, remember, composite figures are made up from two or more geometric figures. So, nasa sayo kung paano mo isolve but to find the area of composite figures, split the area into two or three so the formulas can be used. So, pwede mo na gamitan yung formulas for finding the area of the composite figure using the different uh, uh, shapes na hinate mo. Okay, so hatiin mo lang yung composite figures and then pwede mo na masolve. So, Next, you just add the area of the different regularly shaped figures to obtain the area of the composite figures. So, sana po naintindihan. Okay? Thank you for watching.